Outlander Season 1, Episode 10 brought us as episode of Claire and Jamie helping to get rid of the bounty on Jamie's head. Meanwhile, Dougal and Galus became widows. Here are my thoughts while re-watching the episode. On April 11, 2015, Outlander Season 1, Episode 10 aired for the very first time. After Claire and Jamie made up, they seemed stronger than ever. However, Claire wasn't afraid to start keeping more secrets from her husband. By the pricking of the thumbs brought us an episode of Claire learning more about Galus and her morality. We got to see Dougal grieving, Galus plotting, and Claire learning all about fairies and changelings. In an emotionally charged episode, here are my five thoughts while re-watching Outlander Season 1, Episode 10. 5. Larry honestly believes she and Jamie are meant to be. The first time I watched Outlander, I didn't really know what to expect and certainly didn't realize the role that Leary would play. Later in the series, I started to really dislike Leary, very much like so many others, but then I took a step back from my immediate thoughts and looked at it from Leary's point of view. This is a young girl stuck in her time. And during rewatches of Outlander Season 1, Episode 10, I got a chance to watch Leary's face and hear her words. Following on from Episode 9, it was extremely clear that she truly believed she loved Jamie. She believed that the two belonged together. It doesn't change what she does but it explains her reasons a little more. This links to a later moment when Jamie talks to Claire about the people and their beliefs. All these villagers, including Leary, have lived such a sheltered life. It's hard to get over their beliefs. 4. Murtaugh always knew there was something more. The episode opened with Claire and Jamie in bed together, with Myrtle banging down the door. At least he shows composure after he realizes that Claire was in the bed. However, this isn't the part that stood out for me. Part of the reason this moment stands out in a rewatch is because the other day I was rewatching the Outlander season 2 premiere, I know, I'm watching the episodes completely out of order. I watched as Myrtle needed to know the truth and Jamie made a promise to eventually tell him. Well, the questions didn't just start there. Myrtle has always been inquisitive. He's questioned Clara's words, especially when they sound outlandish. This is a guy who wants to figure out how Clara knows so much. Whether it's because he believes she's a spy or not isn't always clear but he knows there's something. 3. Galus could have been a much more interesting character. Galus Duncan had a small role but it was an important one. Up to this point, we'd gained the feeling that there was something about her. Whether you watched the show first or read the book first, it was clear that Galus was hiding an important secret, one that could have given Claire someone to talk to. During Outlander Season 1, Episode 10, we got to see more of Galus. There was the moment in the forest at night then the discussion in the marketplace after Claire learned about Dougal's wife Steph. It was clear she had something to do with it all and was planning something more. This is a character that could have been much more interesting had she been given the chance. If Outlander had been a full season of 22 episodes, there would have been time to explore Galus' background and life after she went to the past. Part of me wishes we could have had that or even just a limited series focused on her. 2. Duke of Sandringham certainly isn't trustworthy. Did anyone actually trust the Duke of Sandringham? It was clear that he had something up his sleeve from the very beginning. He turned on Black Jack Randall far too quickly and played all sides constantly. Just hearing Frank's words about the Duke of Sandringham being a suspected Jacobite made it clear that he wouldn't be afraid to play all sides to suit his own position. It was never surprising that the Duke would force Jamie into a duel. Nor was it surprising that we'd later see the Duke turn against the Frasers. Simon Callow did an excellent job playing this role. He was always a delight on the screen, even if his character was a dastardly one. 1. Dougal probably wasn't acting. When Dougal had learned his wife was dead, he immediately lashed out. It looked like he was grieving for her. For a while, it looked like he regretted his actions and his lack of affection for her. However, after Gaelis husband was killed, I started to wonder whether it was all an act. If so, Dougal is certainly an actor. He had a smile on his face, happy that there was a chance he and Galus would have a chance to be together. While re-watching, though, 
I had to wonder whether Dougal was acting or not. Did he feel some sense of loss and regret? We later see Dougal as a hot-headed warrior. He isn't always able to keep his emotions in check. I don't think Dougal was acting. When he found out his wife had died, he really was grieving. However, he knew there was something good to come of all the losses at the end. What do you think about Outlander Season 1, Episode 10 Winery Watching? What stands out for you? Share your thoughts in the comments below.